way. Plans for a permanent memorial on Amnicola Highway are still being determined. News Channel 9's James Torres now with a committee member about the project to tell us when we can expect some progress. James. Josh, the city named a six-person committee who will be responsible for all decisions regarding this memorial. This past July's Hero Run was a fundraiser for the monument, and the city told us when they would have finalized plans to share within the week. Months later, there is still no new information. A memorial on Lee Highway rose in honor of the Fallen Five almost immediately after the July 16th attacks. But at the Naval Operational Support Center on Anacola Highway, where the five servicemen were killed, residents say they don't quite see anything like that here. I was surprised on Lee Highway there was so much over there, you know. More than a year later, the city of Chattanooga is using funds from July's Heroes Run to create a permanent monument on Anacola Highway. Public Works Administrator Justin Holland is on the steering committee. So the committee is going to going to talk about a lot of things like placement, um, you know, what a piece would be appropriate, what type of piece would be appropriate. But this email from Lacey Stone in July, the city's senior advisor to the mayor, she says plans for the committee would be finalized the next week. That didn't happen until two months later. Holland says taking these steps toward creating the memorial is time consuming and they want the monument to be perfect. It's not at all, um, I think, uncommon for us to take some time to think uh, strategically about what people would want to see and uh, where they would want to see a piece like that. Bill Watson of Chattanooga says though he would have appreciated a more timely monument at the support center, he's just happy to hear one is in the works. I think it needs to be done and I think it should be done. I think the city's on, on the right track. A little late, but on the right track. The committee does not have a set date for their first meeting, but they are expecting to do so in the coming weeks. Josh. James, thank you. To see a full list of committee members, log on to our website, newschannel9.com.